Yo guys, what's going on? Trevor Neff here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Uh, we landed in Bowser's... Bowser... Yeah, where's I say Bowser? Because I can't say Bowser Jr. But we landed in Bowser Jr.'s ca... Bow Dang it. We landed in Bowser's castle. And right now we're fighting our way because we're trying to find everyone who, uh, was on board. Mainly just the babies right now, and those worth a Princess Peach. Most of this right now is going to be me doing a lot of bass, not boss crap, a lot of normal battles. Um, so what I will do is I will try to uh, come back once I find the babies. All right, and we're in the area where we find Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. They're like. What? Oh, that has to hurt with spikes and how heavy it is. That's why Luigi didn't get the worst concussion of his life. Young man, don't you know that it's dangerous? What are you doing? They're like, what? <laughs> They're just laughing about it. Man, Luigi's just not having a good day with getting everything bumped on his head, huh? Uh -oh. He's like, heck no. What do you want, Stuffwell? I'm trying to catch a baby. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, good point, good point, good point. Mario's like, come on! Also, I think the mic's too close to me. I just kind of thought about that, too. <laughs> oh god. Sweet. Let's go, Luigi. Bye, guys. Oh, come on. Come on. Be big boys. You're only like what? One, two? Mario's like, hmm, how should I deal with this here? <laughs> Baby Luigi, quit crying. He's trying to make you happy. Ah, oh, see, he got dizzy just to make him laugh. Also, I like how Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are wearing blue and green shoes, and Mario and Luigi are wearing brown shoes. Could you imagine if the game worked that way? Where, like, you had to uh, play as all four characters, but instead of doing this whole, like, uh, piggyback style, it was like, you had to, like, have all four move behind you and everything. Oh, that'd be so annoying. And now the real adventure begins here. So this is where the, the more, more of the fun begins, guys. Right in this area where we pick up all, all of them. What I love about this game, though, is, is how they got very creative with having Baby Mario and Baby Luigi be here. Because now it's like, instead of having two people, so if one goes down, you're relying on one other person, you now have four people. So the chances of you, like, dying should be, like, very slim. Also, I finally fixed my controls, from, so I shouldn't have too much problems like I did in the last video. But who knows anymore. Anything can happen at this point. What's well, cool is you can even do this. So I do want to say though, I am sorry for not uploading for a while guys, I just didn't, I kind of like wanted to ch like just kind of chill out, get back into streaming for a bit. By the way, if you guys don't follow my Twitch, it is uh, www.twitch.tv forward slash Trevor Neff. You guys can find that link in the description below. I just, lately have been streaming uh, Resident Evil 7, uh, I'm doing Madhouse right now. Which, Madhouse is, a, is not that bad if you like play the game, um, uh, how do you want to say it? Um, tactically. That's what I want to say. Ta tactically. What? 
should have happened. Yeah, I got to the mother's house. I'm fighting the mother right now. And her bug form, or not bug form, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you'd want to call that. But yeah, I have been getting into streaming more. Um, I've, I have I have done the last streaming, like, a month ago, I was always active on Twitch. I would always stream, like, almost every day if I could. And lately, I haven't been doing it. And I also have a community channel where I stream on, I, I was streaming on there a lot. But then I just decided I want to take a long break or whatever because I felt burnt out and I felt depression and I just didn't want to like keep streaming and put all that on everybody and have people worry about me and I just don't like that at all. Alright, so they're teaching you how to do the battle stuff. So like the battle stance is completely different now, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we gotta press X and then A. And that does like extra damage, which is pretty neat. So, Y. I was about to do it. Which, yeah, that does help us out a lot, by the way, guys. Especially with the bros attack, which I also forgot to mention in part two, by the way. Even with, um, the bros attack, which he's explaining now. He's a shell. X. And then B. And then X. Which is very helpful. Um... Now, like, items like a Fire Flower, that's not gonna be, um, four people. That's gonna be, um, two people. Along with, uh, there was one more. Ah, uh, which one was it? The egg one. It's the egg, where you gotta kick the egg back and forth. What I like about the egg, though, is that, like, after you're done using it, you'll sometimes get items, which very much helps. So, stuff well doesn't know this apparently, but I'm not a big bros item fan when it comes to doing normal battles. I'm glad he's explaining that, and that boo did not die. That boo should have probably died. But, did he? No. But that, but that Goomba did. And Mario's a level 4. Ah, uh, poor Mario. Alright, Luigi, let's see what you got. Luigi has a low rank level. Oh, there we go, Luigi. Let's go. Let's go for Luigi. I'm so proud. You know, I think his mom would be proud, too, if they actually mention his parents. Yeah, I was kind of about that. Mario and Luigi's parents were never mentioned, like, like, literally anything. So, like, where were they from? Like, where were they born? Or, like, none of that makes sense. Their mother's not mentioned, their father's not mentioned. Sounds a little suspicious, don't you guys think? Let's get rid of these boos. Oh, well, I, I guess he decided to live. So there are certain areas of this game that I just can honestly say I do not like. I'm not a big fan of Bowser's Castle. I ain't gonna be honest about that. I just don't care for Bowser's Castle. The next area we go to, after we get back to the Mushroom Kingdom, eh, it's not that bad. But, I mean, I rather, you know, I, I, it's like Holly Jolly Village, I love that area. And I like the music in it. I'm also like trying to focus while playing, like I'm also trying to commentate while I talk because like I'm tired, I got back from work. And um, I'm also just like, like trying to, think of random things to talk about so I don't have like a lot of editing to do of like me just not saying a word because nobody likes to watch a YouTube video and think like oh wow this guy has literally nothing to say so he's gonna stay silent cut out a lot of good game footage that he could use for the video yeah I'm just not about that life either so one thing I find interesting about this game though is um I, I always thought about this as, as a kid too and I play the game like so if you jump into the time portals right I always thought it'd be cool if they made it to where, um, if there's a few areas where they can make baby Mario and baby Luigi go into a different area than Mario and Luigi. And every time you wanted to play as Mario and Luigi or vice versa with the babies, you know, 
the area is flipped. So like, if say Baby Mario and Luigi were in Holly Jolly Village and Mario and Luigi were in Bowser's Castle to do different things, that'd be kind of cool. But the fact that they kept like everyone together, I mean, I totally get that. I see why they did that. Oh, let's go. But I mean, that's just my opinion, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'll take 12. So, I have been streaming this game on Twitch as well. I'm pretty far in it. Only because I just want to, like, remember parts of the game. Because, like I said, I haven't played this game in years. So, for me to stream it on Twitch and kind of, like, you know, remember some stuff about it. it It's going to help me out this Let's Play for sure. Because I don't want it to, like, just be... A game that I played years ago, and it's like, huh, where do I go now? What do I do now? It's like, I want to be able to, like, play the game that I played in my, in my childhood days. I remember where I'm going. And make the video interesting for you guys. And, and um, I'm very late on this Let's Play, because I know, like, a lot of people have done this years and years ago. But I've wanted to get back into doing Let's Plays of older Nintendo games for the longest time, and I never did, because I just... I, no, nobody likes to watch Let's Plays anymore. Or I don't want to say nobody likes to, but the Let's Play community is dead, which is sad, because I love the Let's Play community. I wish it would come back more. The Let's Play community was, like, one of the biggest things, because, like, you know, you can see everyone else's perspective of how they play the game, and you can learn a, a thing or two from the other people. And that's what sucks. That's what got me into when to do it, as well. And it's weird, with the audio in this game for the emulator, it... It only, like, when it comes to, like, the battles, it wants to work at times, and at times it wants to crackle out. And I can't fix that. Alright, so... Alright, so, now we gotta introduce this block. I know how the block- Oh, crap! I didn't mean to do that. I know how the block works. Bass basically how it works. And then they do make it to where everyone does hit the block at, um, all together. Not like at once, but I mean like, you know, like Mario, Luigi, even Mario, B. Luigi, like, have to hit it at like, you know, almost the same time and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm trying to like... <laughs> it's one thing when I'm doing commentary for a game that I could say I know, like, from the back of my hand. And I know this game pretty well. But... Like, if you take Legend of Zelda, Zelda's birthday, for example, right? I knew nothing of that game when I did a Let's Play. So, for me, it was, like, more of exploring and trying to understand how the game worked. So, that's why I know my commentary wasn't too great for, for that series. But you would think for this, I w my commentary would be a lot better. And truthfully, right now, it's not at all. But, you know, I try to make it work as best I can. What I should have done in all reality, I should have done Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga first, and then Partners in Time, and then Bowser's Inside Story, just to keep up with the uh, series. I keep up with the storyline. But I don't know. I think I will do Mario. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let me take that back. I did start the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga series, but I did not finish it. Why? Because I did something stupid with my emulator. So there's this mod that you can download. It's called Yoshi something. I, I, Yoshi, I forget. I have to look it up. But. Basically, it lets you change the boss battles. And the text. And all that. To where it's at the point my emulator just got broke. So. I uninstalled it. I want to get it back and finish the series, but as I said in my one of my update videos, I want to continue with the series I started first. So I'm gonna continue this series, and then once this series is over, then I'll finish that series, and then I'll get to Mario Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. I am not, and I will say this right now, I will not. Because I, I have a 3DS emulator. 
I will not do Mario and Luigi Bowser's incest story and the Kooplings thing. I will, I refuse to do that. And I refuse to play the remake of Mario, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I do not think that it was needed and I do not think it was necessary. So I will not do it. I don't see the point in it. I think the remake was completely ridiculous and I think Nintendo was just running out of ideas and this was their way to make up for it. Like it's okay if you run out of ideas. YouTubers do it. Streamers do it. Companies need to take some time to like think of better ideas. Like Mario Odyssey. That's a great game. But here's my problem with remakes. You're ruining the classic game. You take Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Those are remade. Personally, I think those are ruined. Damn it. I think those are ruined. 100%. I can honestly tell you right now. Why? I, I will tell you right now, I personally rather play the original. I will not want to touch the remakes at all. No, actually, I take that back. So last year, uh, Freddy and I went to California. We were on the, we were on a plane. And on the plane, um, Freddy fell asleep. So he let me play his 3DS, which is cool. I appreciated it. I played the remake of Ocarina of Time. Oh my god, did I hate it. <laughs> I hated it, and he loved it. Freddy does not like to play original Nintendo games. So the fact that he even, he even got a 3DS was surprising to me. But he does not play Nintendo games. I personally just don't see the point in playing a remake of a game that I played in my childhood. To me, it just ruins it. If other people like it, I'm not going to bash on them for it because, you know... Some people might prefer a remake because that's just their choice or whatever. To me, nah, I just, no. Uh, it's, it may not ruin other sh people's child, it might not ruin other people's childhood, but it's, it would ruin mine. Because I grew up playing Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. So, like, what's... Odd to me though, and I never I never looked too deep into it. They never made a remake of this game. And this game, in my opinion, was way better than the other ones by far. So why there wasn't a remake for this game surprises me. But at the same time, I am glad they did not. Because I truthfully would not have wanted that. I'm, I probably would have just given up on the series, like, in total. I would have just given up. Why does Bowser Jr. Ah, why does Bowser have a door with flowers on it? Probably redid it. Probably got it fixed up in uh, Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. But I wouldn't know because I didn't finish the series because of my freaking emulator messing up. So, but yes, I have played the game many times to know what the castle of, it, of uh, Bowser's castle looks like. Also, Bowser's ca uh, castle in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga was flying. This is on the ground. And I kind of thought though, like every Mario and Luigi Mario and Luigi series game, oh yeah, the castle looks different inside. I guess outside, and like just everything is completely different, which is odd. Like, why not just make everything the same? And every Mario game, Princess Peach's castle looks different every single time on the inside. I just... I... I don't get it. Why? Like, mix it up a little bit. Like, make it somewhat the same. Like, you will never see this room in any Mario and Luigi game. You will never see that room. You will never see this garden. Like, does that not make sense to anybody? Like... You're not going to see that room. You're not going to see this garden in any other Mario game. And if so, please let me know so I can feel like an idiot later on. Alright, now we're going to go talk to Professor Egad. What you got for me, homie? Do you think he responds to me calling him homie? No, but he responds to me jumping. Got it. 
But yeah, normally I would plan out videos, like, normally get five ahead, and upload one every single day. But I've been so busy with just, like, trying to stream and everything that I just didn't want to record anything. And plus, without trying to find something to talk about in a video, it just makes it even harder to commentate. Oh god. Baby Luigi, I swear. Oh, yeah. Just like adult Luigi. Nothing changed at all. <laughs> and it just created another hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. So if if the sea is bottomless, is there really um a hole at the bottom of the sea if if water can travel anywhere oh, yeah. okay. science man I didn't pay enough attention to science and I kind of wish I did maybe I'd be a little bit smarter well okay, so the funny thing back in 10th grade year I took biology and I failed that I didn't fail it I actually passed it surprisingly somehow now, of course, the right thing to do would just be to give Mario the badge. That just makes sense, right? So, okay, so I, in 10th grade, I took biology class. Not by choice, it's something you had to take. I did not pass, I, I, I did pass the class, but I barely passed it. I think I passed it with a D. But, man, it was that class so hard. So, 11th grade year, I had chemistry. Don't know how, but I passed that with a B. And chemistry is supposed to be harder than biology, but I pass it with a B every time. So maybe science could be a career choice for me one day. I don't know. Maybe YouTube and Twitch might not work out on my band. I mean, you never know what the future has in store. We're still living with the with the cough cough situation, aren't we? You're arguing with yourself. It's like talking to a mirror. But the mirror is showing you your younger self, and you're like, wow. You would think, if your older self was talking to you, <laughs> you might think yourself's crazy. I can see that. Man, I just feel like I got back from the past, man. Maybe Mario and Luigi are just trying to relive their childhood, and this is the only way they're doing it. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with theories here. But anyway, guys, I think this will do. Uh, this will do it for this video. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.